In the second half of day one, we'll enjoy our second convention symposium, Take Delight in God's Promises of Peace. We will be greatly heartened by Jehovah's promises of peace found in the book of Isaiah. For example, one of the talks has a theme, the wolf and the lamb will feed together. Today, we can't even imagine feeding a wolf and a lamb together. If we tried such, it would likely result in lamb chops for the wolf. But Jehovah's promise in Isaiah assures us that peace will exist between humans and animals and between animals and other animals. It's so cringeworthy, isn't it? it? The man is completely deluded. So we're watching Stephen Lett. He's introducing the Pursue Peace Convention with the talk, Jehovah is the God who gives peace. This being the chairman's address, he's running through what Jehovah's Witnesses can expect. And he's kind of hyping up some of the talks to come. And he touches on this talk that's supposed to be about the words in Isaiah about the wolf and the lamb feeding together. And he takes it really literally, doesn't he? There's no nuance in this man's brain at all. I mean, granted, this is the official Jehovah's Witness teaching. It's one of the many problems with the paradise teaching that I've already discussed, if Tibor is gracious, a thumbnail will appear. 12 problems with the Jehovah's Witness paradise teaching. I think that's what it's called <laughs> off the top of my head. But one of the problems, one of the many, many problems with the doctrine of a paradise earth that is landscaped, <laughs> terraformed over the remains of the biggest act of genocide that would ever have occurred, one of the biggest problems is that they take this insanely literalist view regarding what are referred to as restorationist texts by Bible scholars. So restorationist texts are verses in parts of the Bible like Isaiah that make all sorts of wonderful promises about how amazing it's going to be once everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing, once God's appointed people are listening to him, or more specifically, listening to the priests, listening to the hierarchy that he has put in place. So they make all of these wondrous, fanciful claims that are clearly metaphor. They're clearly just using hyperbole to describe how peaceful everything is going to be. Oh, it's going to be so peaceful. You'll have wolves and lambs just sitting together without there being any trouble because there's just going to be peace everywhere. Clearly, that's not what the Bible writer intended. Clearly, even the Bible writer was just getting a little bit carried away and exaggerating, which he's entitled to do. He... <laughs> He doesn't have to second guess that his words centuries later would be taken literally by, frankly, a dumbass like Stephen Lett. I'm sorry, how else do we describe him? This man is supposed to be part of God's channel. The all-wise, all-powerful, all-intelligent creator of the cosmos has selected, has handpicked out of all of the people on earth today, Stephen Lett, so that Stephen Lett can stand in front of millions of Jehovah's Witnesses and say this. Today, we can't even imagine feeding a wolf and a lamb together. If we tried such, it would likely result in lamb chops. That's God's faithful and discreet slave for you, ladies and gentlemen. That's... That's the mouthpiece he's using in the last days, in these critical times, so that people can receive spiritual food at the proper time. That was spiritual food, almost like eating lamb chops. <laughs> but it, surely the penny must be dropping at some point. I know it is for at least some, because we're seeing people 
waking up. I'm hearing from them in my voicemails. I'm interviewing them. Slowly but surely, you know, the penny is dropping and people are putting two and two together. And as I've repeatedly expressed, the more people like Steve and Lett shove themselves in front of the camera, the easier it gets, quite frankly. I mean, the man is doing my job for me. Well, <laughs> why do I need to jump through hoops to portray him as a simpleton or patrol <laughs> or portray him as someone unworthy of the devotion he is receiving when he's spouting nonsense like this. Thank you.